Welcome to a Lessons Learned session presented by Predictive Solutions. In this session, we'll show how to add contractor or departments to a project or location. We will demonstrate how a contractor or a group or a department can be added to a project or location. Remember, in order for this to happen, they must be a company in SafetyNet. Here we are in SafetyNet. I've gone to Projects, Find Project. I filtered it just to show the current projects. If you want to add a crew or a department or a contractor to an existing project, simply click on the name of the project. You will come to the project's landing page. This shows the current trends for that project. Go to the Team tab. Now I'm on the team members tab of the team tab. This is where you assign observers or monitors for the project. If you click on the contractors or crews tab, this will allow you to add companies to monitor or companies where you're going to collect observations on them. In order for that to happen, you click on add company. You search for the company you want. You can use the name of the company. Click on the first letter of the company's name. You can conduct a search with specific criteria, however you wish to do it. Once you find the company that you want, you add them to the basket. You hit the yellow finish. And now if I scroll down, I can see I've added heat mechanical going forward I will now be able to collect observations for heat mechanical on this project, which is Atomium. If you want to add a company or a contractor or a group to multiple projects, you simply go to Company, click on Find Company, click on the name of the company, You'll come to the company or contractor's landing page. This shows trends specific to that company. If you go to the projects tab, you can now go through and add them on multiple projects. Go to the contractor's crews tab, click add to projects. I can now add them to multiple projects at the same time hit the yellow finish and now I've added them to multiple projects in the same time so if you have a crew or a contractor or a department you want to add to a lot of projects I recommend using this method if you're only assigning one or, or a bunch of different contractors to a location I would use the project team member tab to do that remember that these could change often so you want to go through and make sure these are updated on a routine basis Thank you.